Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how I made this animated Adidas logo. Um, we're going to be going over six different effects here. Um, I did 50 for the full animation, uh, but by learning these effects and how I apply them, you should be able to create your own and apply your own. Um, the first thing we're going to do is load in the logo. logo. So you just click on this uh, button right here and you go to add, insert a photo, and we're going to click our Adidas logo. Um, the second thing that we want to do is we want to go back to here uh, and actually click on, excuse me, click on Canvas and go to Animation Assist. And so what that does is creates this into an animation. Um, so at the bottom here are our frames. We're just going to be building out five or six frames for this tutorial, but like I said, you can create more. Um, so the first thing we want to do is each frame um, is a layer. So we can go ahead and duplicate this. Um, we'll just do it six times right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we can go ahead and hide these frames real quick. So we're gonna be working off the base frame. Um, so it's pretty easy here. Um, we're just gonna be going in and editing it using different brushes. Um, so the first one that we wanna use, uh, we can go to abstract. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to use brushes that are a little quicker here, uh, just to keep the time short. Um, the first one I'm going to click on is Hexavector. Um, I'm going to be going for high contrast um, drawings here. So it's going to be very high contrast with not that much gray and a lot of black and white. Um, I think that'll look strongest with this logo. So all we have to do here is just kind of start drawing in a little bit. Um, and to undo on Procreate, it's just a double tap. So I'm just drawing and undoing a little bit. Um, and we'll go ahead and just say this is the first one. Um, if I was spending my time a little more, I'd go in and find detail a little, a little more, but I wanna make sure that you guys get this information quickly. So this is our first frame. So now we can go here and go to our second frame. And if you look at the bottom, you can still see the first frame there. So on the second frame, uh, we'll just use another brush over here. Uh, like I said, we'll stick with high contrast images. So we'll just use a stick man brush under abstract. Um, same concept. We'll grow in, maybe just do something really abstract. Um, and this is where, if I had more time, I would make sure that it's something that I really like. Um, not that I don't like this, but I'd, this is more for learning purposes. Um, and it's not fine detailing. So I'm just going in, creating some high contrast, black and white brush strokes here. Um, I think this looks pretty good for the presentation. So for the sake of time, we'll see that we have two frames now. Go back up here, we'll do our third frame. Um, I have a cool brush that I imported. Um, it's called um, Cybergrain. So I'm gonna actually click on Cybergrain 2. And we can hide these frames so the content behind it isn't there for right now. Um, you can see that the frames go away at the bottom. Um, so we're gonna unhide everything at the end. I'm just gonna go in and we're gonna create like a fade effect. So I'm gonna brush kind of some black here to kind of make it look like it is um, distressing out to this noise effect. Um, I would go in and find detail this a little more, uh, but just for time's sake, I'm not going to. Um, I am going to brush just a hair of white though. So we'll brush some white over here. And we'll brush a little more white over here. Um, I'd really go in and fix these edges. Um, and I have, if I have more time and if you view my actual animation, that's kind of what I did. Uh, but you can kind of see this cool effect forming where it's look, it looks like it's starting to fade out as it goes farther along. So that was kind of the idea I was going for here. Um, I think this is good, we'll call this one good. So now if I unhide this, you can see we have three frames at the bottom now. Um, we're gonna speed the, the, these up a little quicker. Um, the fourth frame is actually not going to be a brush. Um, Procreate has some great effects. Uh, we can just go ahead and use a glitch effect um, we'll grab a big brush, so we'll grab a big airbrush. Um, we'll go back to up here and go to the glitch effect, click on pencil, and all you have to do is brush in. 
Um, this could be one by itself, uh, but there's actually, we can make it look a little cooler. If we bring the zoom down, you can see we got some cool effects going on here. This looks really good with the Adidas logo. And we can adjust this little hair. Um, I think this looks really strong and really cool. We can go back up to the settings, uh, go to hue, saturation, and brightness. Um, and then actually just bring the saturation down. So we have that. This looks great. Um, so we can go to our next Adidas logo. Um, there's also a lot more cool effects in here. I recommend playing with all of them. Um, the bloom gives a great glow effect. So I'm going to brush in this bloom. Um, as you can see, the edges there a little bit aren't covered. So we might need to play with the settings just a hair. I think that looks really cool. So just like that, we already have two more frames made. Um, and we'll go ahead and do our last one. Um, for the last frame, um, we can play with a lot more of these effects. There's a lot of great options. Actually, let's do two more. We'll do a liquify so you can see how the liquify tool works in Procreate. Um, we're just going to simply liquify everything down uh, so it looks like it's melting a little bit. Uh, so very similar to the liquify tool in Photoshop. Um, really easy to use. Um, there's a lot of different other settings over here, but this is fine. We'll keep it at this. Um, I need to import another Adidas logo since we used them all. So go here, add, insert a photo, and we'll add in the Adidas logo. And this one, we'll do one more brush effect uh, so we can practice that some more. Um, I'm going to get some imported brushes, but there's tons of different options here. And if I had more time, um, I'd go through all of them. Uh, but I have a cool imported brush, uh, this dry crisp. It's going to create some really strong lines like this. Um, so we'll do some wavy sort of lines around here. Make sure we got a white brush. Maybe they're a little too big, but it's, it's okay. Then we'll get some black lines over the top. And this is gonna kind of create a high contrast, uh, kind of flowing streak effect. You can already see it forming. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think that looks really good. Yeah, I think that looks great. Um, so yeah, that was pretty quick. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames, just like that. So now if we unhide all of the frames, um, it's going to look like a mess on here, but we can click on play and you already have it playing. Um, it's super quick here, so we want to slow this down. So if you go to settings, uh, there's tons of different settings on here. Uh, we have it on loop, so it just loops all the way through. Uh, you can do ping pong, so it goes back and forth, or one shot, which just plays all the way through once. Uh, but if we lower the frames per second to like six or something, we might even need to go lower, but I click play. Uh, you can already see it. It looks really cool. Um, it's going a lot slower. Um, you can already see how this effect is going to, if you did 50 of these, um, how cool it could be. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with Procreate Animation. Um, this is just one very basic exam example. Um, but, but, but by using strong imagery uh, and high contrast with black and white, um, it comes out very powerful, um, very good um, with minimal effort. Um, so yeah, so that was the tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and I hope you learned something.